John Calvin, Epistolae, Episode 32 Quocunque, tamen id faciant animo, quia certo persuasus sum vos fidele ipsis pro vestra sinceritate, et pro vestra etiam singulare prudentia, salutar reconcilium, daturos, lebenter me facturum recepi, quod petebant, ut hominem data opera ad vos miterem. In order to get the context for this section, you'll have to look at the previous episode. This sentence is really a masterpiece of style. It's very nice. Nevertheless, Tamen, Calvin says, nevertheless, quocunque, he begins with this adjective, and quocunque is the ablative of qui cunque or cumque, as you'll find it in the dictionary, and it means whatsoever. So nevertheless, Tamen, with whatsoever attitude or intention, quocunque animo. So quocunque and animo are both masculine, singular, and ablative, and this would be an ablative of instrument. So no matter what spirit or intention, however, they are doing this thing, id faci ant, and quocunque, as I said, is this adjective, and I'm taking it as an interrogative adjective, and that explains the mood of faci ant that it is a subjunctive because this is indirect question. Interrogatio obliqua. It's an indirect question. So no matter the intention with which they are doing id, id here is going to be a neuter singular accusative as the object of faciant. So again, no matter what intention they are using in doing that thing, because, quia, I am definitely persuaded, certo persuasus sum, so here we have the first subordination, quocunque. Now we have the second one, quia. We're not yet to the main verb. So the main verb is going to be delayed a little bit further. Because I am certainly persuaded that. Now persuasus sum is from the verb persuadeo, persuadere, second conjugation. And it is going to introduce indirect discourse, indirect speech. Oratio obliqua, also called indirect statement because I am persuaded that you, that's the wos. Now this is actually Melanchthon, but it's put in the plural out of politeness, and wos is masculine, plural, and accusative, and it is going to be the subject of daturos esse, daturos esse, with esse implied, daturos esse. So this forms a giant unit from wos all the way down through daturos, so we have to keep that in our minds. Daturos, of course, is from the verb do dare, to give. Because I am persuaded that you, what is he going to do? Well, first we have fidele. So after the masculine plural accusative of vos, then we have a neuter singular accusative fidele, and this means faithful. It's an adjective, and now we need to find the noun that it modifies. But immediately after fidele, we have ipsis. And ipsis is a masculine plural dative, so they don't go together. So now we have two items to keep in suspense. First, what is going with wos? Why do we? Uh, what is going to be uh, the the infinitive of which it is the subject in the indirect statement? We won't find that out until we get to daturos with essa implicit. Then we have fidela, which is neuter singular accusative. So we don't know what it's modifying, and then we receive ipsis dative. Now, this looks like it could possibly be, as it will turn out to be, an indirect object. Because I am definitely persuaded that you, a faithful to those very persons, the one asking, in keeping with your sincerity, pro vestra sinceritate, so the preposition pro, there are two instances of it here, each of them taking an ablative, in keeping with your sincerity, and in keeping also with your singulare prudentia, your unique wisdom, a salutare concilium daturos. Now, finally, we get to concilium, which is neuter singular, accusative, and this solves the riddle of fidele. Why is fidele neuter singular accusative? Because I am definitely persuaded that you, a faithful fidele, reliable, trustworthy plan, concilium, to them, and then daturos, so putting it all together, that you will give, vos daturos esse, you will give a fidele concilium, a faithful plan, to those persons who are asking ipsis, a faithful plan. Now, it's faithful, 
pro vuestra sinceritate, in keeping with your sincerity. And here we have our other adjective, salutare. Can you see that? Salutara, which is also neuter singular accusative, it is a salutara plan, that is a, a healthy or saving plan. And the saving plan, so now two adjectives, fidela and saving, is in keeping with your unique wisdom, etiam also. So now to tease out the main points of this part from the quia, because I am persuaded that you will give daturosessa a plan, a concilium. It is a fidela plan in keeping with your honesty, and it is a salutara plan, a saving plan in keeping also with your particular wisdom. You will give that concilium, that's the object of daturos, to those persons ipsis. Because of all of that, now finally the main verb, I received recapi, gladly, libenter, that I would do, or I undertook recapi. I decided Gladly, Libenter, me facturum. Here we have another essa implicit. That I would do, Libenter, me facturum. And what is the object of facturum essa? Well, me is the subject in the masculine singular accusative, referring to Calvin, and only accusative as the subject of the infinitive. But the object is the quote clause. That I would do, quod petebat, what you were asking, quod petebat. That I would gladly do what you were asking, so that I would ut send, ut mitterem, this man, the messenger, ut hominem mitterem, that I would send the messenger to you, ad vos, and the vos here once again is the letter's recipient, Melanchthon, and I would do it data opera, with great effort undertaken. So this is an ablative absolute, and this is an idiom, to take operam with darem. So, undertaking great effort, or I would make quite an attempt, to send this man to you. Mitterim, of course, here is an imperfect subjunctive and is first person singular. If anyone asks why this is subjunctive, this ut mitterim, I am taking as a substantive noun clause, a substantive noun clause, it's in apposition to quote. I would do what they were seeking, namely that I would send this young man to you after making much effort, data opera. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that free lesson. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell. You can also become a patron at patreon.com slash Latin per diem. And if you really love it, you can leave a tip right here as a super fan. Thank you so much.